Let's talk about seventh and eighth grade. Seventh and eighth grade is a very special time for our middle school students because they're preparing for that next step in high school. We accept typically around 250 to 280 seventh grade and eighth grade students each year. And uh, in the classroom for seventh and eighth grade, you can find an average of around 23 students per classroom. One of the strengths of our seventh and eighth grade curriculum is the fact that the students can try advanced classes if they meet the prerequisites. And so we offer advanced options in math, science, English, and history for our seventh and eighth graders to try. Another strength of the middle school curriculum is the fact that we have a list of over 30 electives for the kids to choose from. And these electives range from more humanities based where kids are trying things like uh, film as literature and the graphic novel to news and broadcast class and drama and musical theater, photography, um, to trying other classes like in the STEM field such as cyber defense, um, robotics, greenhouse agriculture, uh, there's a lot to choose from. Our students in the middle school are also required to take a health class in either their seventh or eighth grade year. And uh, we also have unique classes like foods class as well if they're interested in learning how to cook. Our seventh and eighth graders have a lot to choose from here, but again, ultimately they're preparing for that next step in high school. And so throughout their time and their curriculum, they're going to be learning their study skills and learning their research skills to help them take that next step. I think a lot of times parents have questions about math and how it works in our middle school. And I'd like to say that Faith Lutheran has one of the strongest math programs I've seen. Um, here at Faith, we have the ability to differentiate and to allow students to start in a math track that fits them best. And so we have some sixth graders that start the school year doing sixth grade math, but others that are you know, accelerated and actually trying pre-algebra at the sixth grade level thus allowing them to do algebra in seventh grade and then geometry in eighth grade. Mathematics is a, some subjects that you know, are really, really exciting for kids and, and for others, they're really scared of it, uh, but we can meet kids where they're at. We provide a lot of resources, especially in mathematics. Um, for example, we offer free math and science tutoring after school, Monday through Thursday. And we also have a special class called Math lab that can be taken along with our regular math class to help reinforce for the students what they've learned that day. We utilize a very special program called Alex and that allows for students to have their math homework done electronically through a math portal every night and uh, for teachers to be able to assign very specific math homework to each individual student. Alex is great because it gives students instant feedback in their problems and if a student is struggling with, the, with a particular concept, the Alex program will actually reteach the student how to solve the problem successfully. We find that students are on a very large scale when it comes to math, especially coming from all different schools from across the valley into our middle school, but we can meet them where they're at and help them be successful in this area. One of the most popular electives in our middle school is our robotics program and our cyber defense program. Now you might wonder, what is cyber defense? Well, we participate in the Cyber Patriot competition, which was initiated by the Air Force uh, to help students engage in computer science and cyber defense tactics that they could take on into their next steps. Cyber defense is offered as an elective class during the day but it's also offered as an after-school club for students to engage in and to learn how to defend computer networks from viruses. Again, another popular elective is robotics, and students can participate during the school day if they choose a robotics elective, or they can join our after-school robotics club led by Mr. Schumacher. Now, robotics here in Nevada, the most popular program is VEX Robotics. And in middle school, you engage in VEX IQ. And so over here is an example of this year's VEX IQ game. And every year the game is different, where students will be able to collaborate with one another to build their robot and to engage and play in a game and compete against one another. And if they're a part of a competition team, 
our kids will get to compete against kids not only locally here in Nevada, but then on a statewide level and then a national level and then ultimately in the robotics world's competition where last year we sent uh, three teams to the world's competition and those guys and gals got to compete against teams from Germany, Mexico, and Japan all over the world engaging in robotics and computer science. I think it's a great elective for kids that are interested in math, in technology, in um, art even because of the design aspect. And again, it's a great way to tie all of that together in a collaborative manner where kids are learning how to work as a team and to work with one another. Robotics and cyber defense and other STEM electives are awesome choices for your kids to engage in.